Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. If you're doing industry research and you want to look at how an industry is doing in a, in a local market, you'll want to look at a resource called BizMiner. BizMiner has local market industry reports that give you local industry statistics down to the county and even zip code level in some cases. This video shows you how to find those local market industry reports. So when you get to BizMiner, most people are going to go over here and just type in something like sporting goods which is works okay and I'll show you how this works if we click on sporting goods we scroll down and we see oh there's sporting goods store there 48,000 operations and that's in the US so we click on show industry reports we get all kinds of options for reports there okay now the better way to do this is you see that it puts sporting goods stores in this sector retail trade so what we're going to do now is going to go over and click on industry drill down. Okay, you can actually start from the home page and do the same sort of thing. And if we go into retail trade, for example, and the reason we're doing it this way is if we scroll down and see that there's a sporting goods section down here. So let's click on sporting goods, hobby, book, and music stores. And here and here is sporting goods stores. And you'll notice here's where they got those 48,000 establishments okay but that includes all these different water sports equipment stores swimming pool and equipment stores things like that so you might want to be a lot more specific in your search if you're going to do a search over here or use the drill down option to go down and find for example there's hiking and camping equipment stores so let's do that let's click on show industry reports there and so now we're down and you see how this changed here we're now down to a smaller uh, subsection of the retail trade and we have all kinds of different options to look in here probably the biggest ones uh, uh, to look at are the US market research reports and the local market research reports which is kind of nice so if we're looking for example um, we're looking in Ohio there are 20 establishments in Ohio we click access now And then we can either click PDF or HTML. I'm going to click PDF there. And it's going to build our report for us. We have to agree to their terms and conditions. We're using it for uh, academic purposes only. And yes, we agree to that. And sometimes this may take a couple minutes to create because it's actually going out and grabbing that data uh, live off the server and then generating a PDF format. So uh, this may take a second to load. And it actually tells you your PDF will take one minute to generate. Thanks for your patience and I will pause the video here and check back with you when it's loaded. Okay, once the report loads, we have a nine-page report. It covers industry population, failure rates, uh, industry volume, sales trend, uh, other sales per employee, other things like that. So all kinds of really nice data that you need to put together uh, a nice industry report, um, particularly when you're using this in, in, in combination with something like IBIS World. It gives you a really good um, way to, um, to, to use data from two different sources there. So really nice uh, set of data uh, for, uh, for this particular industry. And it gets down to a really kind of granular level, so it's a really nice resource for looking at industries at the local level. Hopefully this video gives you a better understanding of your topic and shows you how to research your topic. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog, and I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.